Good morning. Uh, I am Daehyun Lee from University of South Florida, and I am here at uh, American Heart Association of 2019 in Philadelphia. I have here uh, Dr. John McMurray from uh, University of Glasgow, who has led two major trials, the DAPA-HF and the Paragon trial, and he's here to uh, present additional data on these two trials. Can you tell me more about these studies, please? So I'll start with uh, DAPA-HF. Mm -hmm. so this was a trial of 4,744 patients, patients with heart failure and reduced ejection fraction, getting absolutely standard drug and device therapy, who we randomized to receive either dapagliflozin, an SGLT2 inhibitor, 10 milligrams once daily, or matching placebo. It was an event-driven trial, so we followed these patients until we had accrued our target number of primary endpoints. The primary endpoint was a composite of either a worsening heart failure event or cardiovascular death, whichever mm -hmm. occurred mm -hmm. first. And the median follow-up was 18.2 months. What we found was that there was a highly statistically significant and relatively large reduction in the primary endpoint. The relative risk reduction was 26%. Mm -hmm. And the new data at this Congress are looking at those outcomes in patients with and without diabetes mm -hmm. separately. Because in our trial, 55% of the patients did not have type 2 diabetes. So we were really testing whether this diabetes drug might be a treatment for patients with heart failure. And we found an entirely consistent benefit in patients with heart diabetes. So for example, that primary endpoint was reduced by 27% in patients with heart diabetes and 25% in patients with diabetes. No difference whatsoever. Mm -hmm. And that was true of all the other outcomes. So for mortality outcomes, for symptom improvement, and as well as that, the safety profile in patients without diabetes was very good as well. So uh, there was no difference between dapagliflozin and placebo for any of the outcomes of interest. But maybe it's worth pointing out that things that cardiologists might be worried about, mm -hmm. like hypoglycemia yeah. and diabetic mm -hmm. ketoacidosis, they did not occur at all in patients without diabetes. So we think these data show that really this is a drug for the management of heart failure with reduced ejection mm -hmm. fraction as well as a treatment for diabetes. Yes, and, uh, you know, for example, we even showed that the benefit of dapagliflozin was consistent across the whole spectrum of haemoglobin A1c and people with a completely normal haemoglobin A1c still got benefits. So this is a heart failure drug mm -hmm. as well as a diabetes drug. We would like to see further research from you in the upcoming years and we would like to interview you next time as well. If you would like to see more videos like this, please visit youtube.com slash fits on the go. Thank you.